ghost party. Our ghosts were having a party at the beach. Uh, but eventually, um, morning came, sun started to rise, and they decided to run away and disappear. How did this happen? This is Avraham Sultan from Jerusalem with one more Flash CS4 tutorial, and today we'll be learning about fade effects. For this tutorial, we invited famous ghosts Inky, Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde from Pac Man. And the tutorial is divided in two parts. The first part will be creating our background, and the second part will be concentrating on the effects themselves. Um, we just created a sky using the gradient tool. Let's lock. We're done with this layer. Let's create a new layer, and soon we'll be creating the sand on the beach. All right. Uh, let's pick the sand is not a gradient since it has a solid color we'll be drawing a rectangle over the stage it doesn't have to be the same size all you want is to cover from one edge to the other and let's make a few curves uh, now what did they do so it became a sharp corner when uh, dragging and dropping a press the control click key on the PC or option key on the Mac and became an edge so we have uh, more or less of a landslide on the beach sand and we're pretty much done lock the layer let's move on to the next layer which most likely will be the sea alright the sea is also a bit of a gradient and for this we'll go to our color palette. Uh, we select over there linear. There are two types of gradients, linear and radial. Linear is for gradual and linear and, and radial is for circles. We'll be soon using the radial for the sun. Now note that the gradient is not quite in the right direction so I'm going to turn the rectangle so we have an effect from up to down or vice versa a vertical effect and let's shape let's shape our C so it fits in the scene and needless to say the layer that contains the C in between quotes will stand in between the sand and the sky now let's shape a little bit that's this way looks better and in between the sand and the sky we have a layer for our sea and um, let's adjust a bit make sure that you move the fill together with the stroke and for those who do not believe in ghosts you can always have a couple of nights at the cemetery I'm sure the experience will easily change your mind. There you go, we have somewhat of a um, beach background is taking shape nicely and um, can move on to the next stage we will be creating the sun. Yeah, so let's go, let's go, let's name the layer. It's always a good idea to name the layer so we don't get confused along the way and let's lock the layer so we don't get messed up uh, it's very common if you have several layers to select something different or place objects on uh, the wrong layer so if you lock and leave unlocked only the layer you're working at it's a very good idea to do so you protect yourself from these mistakes let's apply a radio circular gradient on our sun and needless to say the sun is not blue but it's going to be yellow let's use the color picker and our sun is ready to be made let's fit it in window now we'll be placing the sun not on top but in between the sea and the sky so we have the idea of sunrise the sun is hiding behind the horizon and as, as he rises he comes out from behind the horizon so the sun is not on top of everything the sun is in the layer in between the horizon, the sun, the sea, and the sky. 
let's see the result is transform first is convert the sun into a symbol whenever you have the idea or you, you think it's it's going to reuse the symbol the shape is always a good idea to turn into a symbol a symbol is nothing but a recipient for graphics and there we have the sun behind the horizon on our beach and we have a background fully vectorized fully animated it can be animated if fully done by us is ours you can do as we wish we wish now let's create the ghost we start by blinking for those who do not know blinking is the red pinky is the pink inky is the blue and Clyde is yellow you will be creating a rectangle the center of our symbol stage and if you rest the selection tool over the line it becomes a small curve and we can bend the line so we can create the head of our ghost now the bottom is a bit more complicated and we'll be using the zoom tool to focus on the ghost bottom let's create a few teeth and uh, they move they alternate whatever is indented becomes outdented and vice versa so we're creating the first keyframe and then a few frames afterwards two frames afterwards we'll be creating another keyframe but with the denting on the different place so it has an idea he's moving and since this is inside of a movie clip um, a recipient for this animation whenever we put on stage the ghost will be constantly moving we have the bottom of our ghost and now it's time to move on to the second keyframe it's more or less done um, it could be of some use um, making a little bit smaller so it looks like the ghost we see on the game there's plenty of websites out there with flash pacman which is also an idea for a f future tutorial the whole game not, not only the ghosts and now let's name the layer ghost body could be any name let's lock it and move on to the next layer or the next layer It's going to be the eye, and for the eye, I want to create a symbol. Why? Because we'll be reusing it. I have two eyes; they're looking in the same direction. So I'm going to create one symbol for the Y and drag and drop. Thanks for watching my clip. See you on part two of this tutorial. Thank you very much.